Hello, makers, and welcome back to Spectiva Studios. Good to have you back. Now, today we're going to talk about something that, all right, it's not super exciting or sexy, but it's really necessary. And that is, as an artist, you're always dealing with things that eh, maybe didn't go exactly the way you wanted them to, or you have a line or a mark of some sort that you need to remove. And erasers and the technology behind erasing is really what our focus is going to be this week on Mixed Media Masters. Now, to get things started, let's just talk about what this might look like in, in the context of a, of a real project. Now, as you may recall, a few weeks ago, we were working on this piece here, which has some India inks, and there are a bunch of lines I put down because I wanted to make sure that we kept things arranged in a somewhat orderly way. But I don't want these lines to stick around after the fact, so part of what I want to do, of course, is to make them go away. And I want to talk a little bit about how we might do this, and I want to introduce you to three different types of art erasers that you may or may not be familiar with. And the first one we're going to talk about is the art gum eraser. Now, this is a relatively small block here. They come sometimes much larger bricks. But the purpose of the art gum eraser is it's a very gentle eraser. So, for example, if I come over here and say, let me uh, start working on this line. One of the things you'll notice when you're working with art gum erasers is it leaves a lot of crumbs behind. Because the friction, when you're going after the line, is being transferred back to the eraser. So the eraser is actually disintegrating as opposed to tearing away at the paper. If this was a lot stiffer, then the friction would be going toward the paper, and that may not be something we want. And the nice thing about an art gum eraser is it does a pretty good job of racing, and it's also erasing the eraser at the same time. But as I've mentioned, one of the things about this that makes it so powerful is that it is something that allows us to be very gentle. So for example, if I were working with a piece of tissue paper, let's say, right? Because tissue paper, pretty, pretty sensitive stuff. Let me just spread this out a little bit. And let's say I put a line on my tissue paper like this. If I went in after that with a pencil eraser, let's say, the odds of me tearing the paper are pretty good. But again, with the art gum eraser, it's an opportunity to go in rather gently. And as we come in here, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's picking up that pencil line, no problem at all, and it's leaving the paper untorn, which is our objective. So the Arkham Eraser, again, these are fairly affordable. You buy them in bulk because you can go through them pretty quickly, but it's a pretty solid choice for anybody who's trying to remove pencil lines from their artwork. Now let me show you another alternative. Now the next eraser type we have is something you're already familiar with, and that is the type of erasers that you find on the end of a standard pencil. And it's a combination of, of some silica, some grit basically, and it's designed to be able to remove not only pencil, but ink from certain surfaces. So it's a little bit abrasive, even though it's not horribly so. And of course, as a standard eraser, most of us are familiar with these in some way. And if I'm going and working on my relatively tough piece of watercolor paper here, it's probably not going to have any kind of challenging effect. And it, it's also fairly crumbly, but it will dig deeper into the paper. That's really its goal. Now, again, these are easy to come by in any, pretty much any big box store is going to have them. So I'll put a link for everything down below. You'll be able to see what we have here. But this is a good alternative. Again, it's a, it's a cheap and plentiful alternative. Now, this is a plastic eraser. It's a vinyl plastic eraser. And the thing about this is it's a very smooth erase. But it also doesn't do a lot of crumbling. A lot of more of the focus is on removing content from the paper. And so it's a little bit stiffer on the paper. And so when I come in here, and again, we're not going to see a huge difference on this piece because it is a very sturdy piece of paper, but it allows me to come in. But you'll notice perhaps not as much crumbling or the crumbles get a lot bigger. They have the tendency to stick to one another. And so I can come into a piece like this and guide my way in and do a pretty good job of erasing all of the pencil lines. And the huge difference between these is that this is just a little grittier. This is much more smoother without grit. And it's really designed, again, to use friction to pick things up. Now I'm going to show you one other eraser type that's kind of a, an interesting combination of different things and how it might be used. And that is the kneaded rubber eraser. Now when you get them uh, brand new, they come in a little package like this wrapped up in plastic, but it's almost a putty of sorts. It's a very stiff putty and you can, uh, you can manipulate it. You can stretch it and you could uh, shape it. And the purpose of this is it allows you to get into places. If I can shape a point, for example, it allows me to come in here and be very precise and come into an area and say, let me just get that, okay? Now, one of the other nice things about working with the kneaded rubber eraser is it allows us to deal with other types of materials. For example, let me just pull out. If I'm using charcoal, for example, and I'll make just a, a small line over here, let's say, oh, I don't want that line. 
the kneaded rubber eraser has an interesting characteristic in that we don't necessarily need to just rub at it. We can dab at it. I can come in here and I can basically hit it with the sticky that is part of the eraser and it picks up the graphite or in this case the charcoal without me having to rub at all. And again, it gives you a lot more control when you're working with a finished piece and like, I just need to get into that little area there. I don't want to destroy any of the good stuff. I just want to get rid of the stuff I don't want. And I can work with that way. And again, if I want to just use it as a standard eraser and rub it back and forth, it does a sufficient job of being able to pick up marks that way as well. So that is the needed rubber eraser. I have a couple of other things I want to share with you that can also help you out. Now, back several years ago, when I was a boy, uh, we, we, had, uh, we had these types of uh, erasers that were used for when we were working on a typewriter. Yeah, some of you remember typewriters. And the thing about the typewriter is it allowed us to make mistakes. It was much harder, of course, to correct, correct those mistakes. So there were these pencils that are basically a pencil that is an eraser. And what it allows us to do, of course, is you would go in and you would erase whatever your mistake was that you were typing so you could type over it. That was the, that was the plan. But these are great tools to have. Uh, a little harder to find uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the typewriter store these days. But uh, the kind of thing you can go in and it just gives you much more precision because you're working with this tip. So being able to come into a piece like this and, and erase specifically where you want to be is really the key in here. Okay, being able to just come in and let's make sure we get just the part we want and, and don't go to get anything we don't want. So that's the objective of using this. And of course, this one comes with a handy little brush on the end so you can you know sweep your work off if that's what you need. So that's a cool thing to have. Now I'm going to show you something else that could also really aid in getting into tight spaces and nooks and crannies and also making sure when you're working with your artwork, you don't damage the good stuff by trying to get rid of the stuff you want to get rid of. And that is through the use of these templates. Now these templates are metal, very thin stainless steel templates. Uh, they're often used by people who are involved in some sort of technical drawing to make shapes. But one of the nice things about these also is that if you have one, you notice like for example, I have a, a slot here, some different slots. If I were to come in here and say, you know what, I want to be very precise. I'll, I'll come and grab this line here. And if I take this metal template and I put it over the area that I want to erase, and then let's say I just grab my, my vinyl eraser here, I can come in here and it's only going to erase whatever is within that template space. So I can be very, very careful and say, whoops, let's not get any of that stuff there. That's, that's going to get damaged. And we can protect the good stuff from being erased and touch only just the stuff we want to remove. Right? Now these are cheap and plentiful. And uh, yeah, they come in different, uh, I have a, a several here that are different shapes and sizes, what we can do with them. But um, some pretty interesting things to just be able to allow us to come in here and uh, just get rid of the stuff we want to get rid of without having to get rid of everything. Now there's one last thing I want to share with you, which I, I, I didn't need. I really didn't need until I got it. Let me show you what this is. Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I'm holding in here uh, one of my, my, my latest uh, uh, procurements, which is a USB powered electric eraser. That's right, button on the side here. And uh, there's a vibrating nib here. And by the way, this one comes with a, a full collection of replacement nibs. These are, I guess we'll call them erasers, right? So some very thin ones, some that are more thick, again, for precision and allowing us to jump in here. But simply you just you know, feed this up, get it at the length you want. There we are. And then by pushing your button, you can simply come in here and just go, and almost like you're drawing, go find the lines you don't want and make them go away. Now, all jokes aside, I mean, you know, does anyone really need to have an electric eraser? It does make things a lot easier. It makes things a lot more precise too. It's an opportunity, again, if you're trying to protect things, being able to go into just specific areas and just reach what, what's in there and erase what's in there without erasing the other stuff around it. Could be incredibly powerful and if you're using the, uh, the, the smaller, the thinner nib or the thinner uh, eraser material, it will do a pretty good job that way as well. Erasers. You don't spend a lot of time thinking about them, but they can be incredibly powerful and important things to have in our work. And I'm, I'm going to finish cleaning this guy up and uh, get it ready for the gallery. But that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found this interesting. And by the way, if you like this kind of thing, we, we, we drop a video every single week uh, on a Friday morning even. So feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. We'll let you know if uh, when, uh, when the next video drops so you can be part of what's going on. And by the way, we appreciate you being here and uh, have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you real soon.